Hey Capricorn, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Much appreciated. I wanted to also take the time to thank all of you who have been booking private readings, who have been donating to the channel. I am so, so touched. I mean, thank you guys so much. I've been dealing with such an amazing group of people. High vibing, wonderful people. Anyway, if you guys do need to book um, a reading, we still have the special going, $10 off your reading. So the readings are not $75, they're $65 from now until probably the week before Christmas. I'm going to try to keep it on that long if I can. Um, also, if you order any gift certificates between now and Christmas or New Year's, any, any time that the um, readings, I mean the special is still going on you will get $10 off them as well, all right? So, um, my email is right beneath this reading in the description box. It's also on the community board. There's also a sample of um, a gift certificate there. It's not exactly the same as the gift certificates you'll get, but it's almost identical. Very close, close, not exactly. Um, also, my email's there on the community board. It's also in the uh, on the about page. So there's multiple ways to find my email. If you can't find it, just um, comment down below and I'll get you the information you need. Anyway, let's get moving here. So, who am I doing? <laughs> Capricorn. Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Right, please send through... Spirit and angel, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages for Capricorn. Anyone with Capricorn placement in the chart, please, for November 24th to the 30th, 2019. This is your Thanksgiving Day reading plus your weekly reading all in one. So, happy Thanksgiving to those of you who celebrate and happy week to those of you who don't. All right, so let's get moving here. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most that will be guided to watch this reading on YouTube for November 24th to the 30th, 2019. Capricorn reading for anyone with Capricorn placements. What's important for them to know for this week, please? Way too many, just one or two. One or two at a time. Capricorn reading. What's important here? Here we go. Okay, what else should Capricorn know about, please? Capricorn. What else is important here? Got a challenge. Okay. Cappies. What do the Cappies need to know for the last week of November 2019, Spirit? Please. Oh, that card tried to come out before. There you go. What else do Capricorns need to know, please? What's important for them to know? Okay. Look at that, Hereford, right in the middle of your reading. Love it. Beautiful. It's one of my favorite cards in this deck. Capricorns. What do Capricorns need to know about, please? Last week of November 2019. What's important for Cappies? Too many. Just one or two, please. Capricorns. Two more cards, please. Capricorn. Oops. Okay, I think we got them, guys. They flipped. We got... Oh, that's four. That's okay. We'll do them, and we'll keep it quick. All right. I'm just going to fly through them real fast, because that's a lot more than I wanted to pop out. But that's what popped out. All right, Capricorn, bottom of your deck, you have the Hanged Man in reverse. So you've been doing your work. You've been really going within, really looking at things from another perspective. You're waiting on this new beginning that's on hold right now. You are forward movement, moving, and you've also cho chosen a direction. Really nice. You've got here, or you're about to choose a direction, I'm sorry. You're choosing a direction for forward movement. You're working on the forward movement now with the eight. That was two of wands, eight of wands, ace of wands in reverse. You got this new beginning on hold. 
but you're um, just now coming out of your time of looking at things from a different perspective when you were in the hangman state. You're just coming out of that. You've really been doing your work here, Capricorns. I can tell. You guys always are, right? This has been a year of doing what you had to do to get yourself balanced. And you're doing a mighty fine job as the hangman coming out of the hangman state. All right, we're going to blow through these quick because your reading is much longer than I wanted it to be. All right, we have the King of Cups, we have the Three of Wands reversed, and we have the Page of Wands as a challenge came out on its side. We have the Two of Pentacles reversed, the gorgeous Hierophant card right in the middle. This elder is teaching, the Hierophant is teaching this child how to work with the universe. I love it, it's beautiful. Nine of Swords reverse, which is the way we want to see it. Nine of Wands reverse, which is the way we want to see it. We also have the Queen of Swords in reverse, which means you might be cutting people out. You might be a little pissed off. If that's not you, it's somebody around you. We also have the Seven of Wands in reverse. These are excellent cards. We also have the Star beautiful star card bam okay and we also have the ace of pentacles new beginning on hold just like your ace of wands was right here under the hierophant oops i don't know if you guys can see them there's your ace of wands in reverse you also have the ace of pentacles in reverse this new beginning when it does come in if you choose to accept it because new beginnings are there for grabbing but it's up to you to accept them right will be fiery and passionate and creative and solid and steady and stable beautiful so, I would advise you to get whatever you have to do, get done, so you can get that new beginning, because it's going to be awesome. It's going to be everything you wanted, hopes, wishes, and dreams. Now, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse, and we have the Star card. You could also have this in your chart. If you're, um, if you're dealing with a man, you could be dealing with the King of Cups here. If you are a man, you could be coming through as the King of Cups. Beautiful. All right, now, I think what we have here is someone who has been unable to move forward, whether it be the King of Cups or you. Um, unable to go for something they wanted in particular, because we have here where you're starting to move forward, but your new beginning's on hold, but you've really gone within to figure out what you wanted to do, and you're choosing a direction. Once you've chosen that direction... I feel as though you will spring forward. Right now, you're just um, still unable to go after something for some reason. If it's not you, it's this King of Cups. There's some kind of um, information or news that came in that wasn't, you know, um, could have, well, it is the challenge. Maybe you're waiting on it. I feel like you could be waiting on news or information. Oh, that's what this Eight of Wands is, probably. Yeah. Okay, so you could be waiting on some news or information that's going to help you choose that direction that you need to go in to be able to go after what you want. Um, with the Two of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like you already know, you already have a sense of what you want to do or where you want to go. At least you will as you come into this week. Um, this could have to do with a contract, it could have to do with a union, it could have to do with your spirituality, something binding possibly, like a union of some sort, whether it's business, family, love, whatever it is with the Hierophant here. Like I said, this also could be a spiritual thing. You have the Hierophant and the Star, beautiful. So we'll see what happens as we get more into this reading. You're coming out of stress, you're coming out of feeling defensive, and you're coming out of fighting for something. Done. That's your whole reading virtually. Um, but you do have new beginnings wanting to come in here. I do feel like you're waiting on some kind of information. Let's get right into this. All right, we've been using the Gilded Revelry Lenormand for these readings, and we're going to continue to do so for you. But we're going to have to move quick because you guys got a lot of cards. I'll probably skip a few and uh, just do the ones that need to be done. So, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please help me clarify this reading, the Capricorn reading, for November 24th to the 30th, 2019. Please help me clarify the cards we've already laid down for anyone with Capricorn placements that is guided to watch this reading. Okay, guys, why is the Three of Wands reversed here, please? Why is it reversed? Capricorn reading, end of November 2019. Why is the Three of Wands reversed? 
Here we go. Oh, there's been a blockage. Okay, so you guys have been blocked. There's some kind of mountain there, something that's been hard to get past, that's been blocking you from something. Let, let's get that Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands a challenge in the Capricorn reading? Well, yeah, because, okay, someone could have been going in a different direction or on a different path. There's been a lot of confusion around it. You need some information with the Page of Wands here. And that's part of what has to do with your blockage. Clearing things up. Something needs to be cleared up that you're confused about. And you need more information. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles reversed here. Capricorn reading. Why is the Two of Pentacles in reverse? Capricorn reading. interesting so you have the whip or the broom um, with the star and again another star I'm saying there could definitely be Aquarius in your chart or someone around you two of Pentacles um, star and the whip or the broom here so something's been difficult like the mountain the whip can be hard as well difficult uh, this can be something that might be suddenly cleared up with the with the whip and the star here something might suddenly get cleared up and allow you to make some kind of a decision you needed to make like i feel there's going to be sudden clarity on something well you've been doing your work as well so you're gaining clarity when you were like this you were that's what you were doing looking at things from a different perspective and gaining clarity and also getting information and downloads from your spirit guides now you're coming out of that so you're gaining this clarity that you needed here this might be something you really like. You just didn't have all the information, but it, if it comes in quickly, it's going to allow you to make some kind of decision here. Let's look at the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here, please? Capricorn reading. Why is the Hierophant here? Why is Hierophant here for the Capricorn reading? The fox. Somebody's trying to sneak in or out of a situation. Let's look at it again. Why is the Hierophant here, please? Why is the Hierophant here? Nope, too many. Just one or two. Why is the Hierophant here for this reading? Capricorn reading. End of November. Last week in November. Wow, we got a lot, but I'm going to take them. Well, oh, oh my goodness. All right, so that information you needed. Okay, there it is. This could be from a business. This is the tower, but in this deck, it's like governmental or it's big business or it's, you know, protection or security. Someone may be looking into the security of someone or with this fox here someone may be um trying to i do feel like someone's sneakily been looking into something or someone in a relationship like you know kind of spying on your significant other or your business partner or something like that yeah that's what i'm thinking all right let me get the nine of swords why is the nine of swords reversed here capricorn reading please why is it reversed Nine of Swords reversed. We have the birds and we have the woman, the lady. Okay, so a lot of chitter chatter, maybe some gossip, and now you're coming out of the stress. So you might have heard some things you weren't crazy about, whether it's you or your partner, heard some things they weren't crazy about, but, but they're coming out of the stress of this for some reason. Maybe you received some decent news about this. Nine of Wands reversed. Why is it here for the Capricorn reading? Why is Nine of Wands in the reverse? This is actually the Nine of Wands reversed and the Seven of Wands reversed. We're going to do them together. Why is the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands here reversed? Capricorn reading. This is just not fighting for anything yet. Listen, this is a spiritual union, the cross and the ring. But someone is letting, like not fighting for it anymore. I'm not doing it. Wow. All right, why is the Queen of Swords reversed? 
Why is the Queen of Swords reversed here for the Capricorn reading, please? Queen of Swords in reverse. The anchor. All right, so this has been a burden for someone. It's been heavy. It's, <coughs> excuse me, kept someone feeling really, I feel weighed down. And they're cutting their way out of it. This is the Queen of Swords. Like, I'm out of here. I can't do this anymore. I've had enough. <coughs> if you're a Capricorn woman, I feel like you're coming through in that energy. I'm so sorry, guys. I did have a little problem there speaking for a minute with the Queen of Swords reverse. Maybe there's something you need to say about this feeling you're having. All right. Let's look at the star. Why is the star card here, please? Capricorn reading. Why is the star card here? I do feel like there could be Aquarius in your chart or someone you're dealing with. The sun and the star? Wow. That's gorgeous. We're talking about, you know, the star. The sun card, the happiest card in the deck, and the star, hopes, wishes, and dreams. Whatever this is, I feel like it's your, you know, really bringing you to a place that you really wanted to be. Whatever it is. I'm going to get one on that. Give me one on the sun and the star. Why is the sun and the star here together for the Capricorn reading, please? What are they here for? Yeah, good news. News is coming in. Whatever this news is, really is going to allow you to come out of stress and make you feel a lot better. Really nice. Why is the King of Cups up there? We might as well go back and look at him. He's been sitting up there by himself all this time. Why is the King of Cups up there, please? In the Capricorn reading. Why is this King of Cups? Okay. Wow, this is a spiritual union. All right, whoever this King of Cups is, or if you are the King of Cups, Whatever's happening, I swear, it's, it's got to be spiritually guided. Look, we have, this is your loved ones, your, this is all kinds of spiritual um, guidance. This is, could be your ancestors, your loved ones, your spirit guides, your angels stepping in. King of Cups. I told you I already felt like this was a spiritual union. Wow. Now, here's the thing. I thought you weren't going to fight for it anymore. Maybe you're just not going to fight anymore. You're not going to keep your guard up anymore. This There's been something that's been very difficult. And someone with that mountain there, unable to get to this m place to move forward. You've been on different paths. You, you are waiting for some kind of news to clear this up. News comes in and it does get you out of stress. And it makes you feel a million times better with the sun and the star here, with the birds, with the stork and the information that comes in. This is really looking into a situation, a letter um, that you were trying to or someone was trying to sneak away from or there could have been somebody looking. I feel like someone was sneakily looking into their partner with the Hierophant here. Also, I feel something quickly comes in and allows you to be able to make a decision in a situation that was really weighing you down. Um, but we do have this spiritual union. We have that here twice, saying King of Cups, spiritual, commitment, spiritual. All right, so something good is coming out of this, whatever it is. Let me get this Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse, please? Why is it here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse? Capricorn reading. That's a whole lot, but wow. Again, having to do with the couple, the union love as well there's information coming in it's going to bring in good luck look at it the rider and the clover whatever this is information that you get brings in good luck and it has to do with you and some kind of partnership it's really divinely guided whatever it is i feel as though it's going to allow you to stop fighting allow you to let your guard down as well in a situation all right, let me get moving on this. For some of you, you might stop fighting for the union, but for the most of you, I feel like whatever the news is, it's actually good news. It's lucky. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. For the Capricorn reading, what comes next in this situation, please? 
Please guide us on what comes next in this situation for the Capricorn reading. What comes next here? Capricorn reading, what comes next? comes next here? One more. What comes next for the Capricorn reading? One or two more, please. Capricorn reading. What comes next? Okay. Beautiful. Wow, that's interesting. Wow. That's really interesting. So you're going to stop that stress getting out of your head. Here it is. Same exact card. You're going to fight the demons cut back the stress. You're going to come in from feeling left out in the cold, no longer feeling like you've been left out in the cold. This person actually was sitting over here with these people and she goes, wait a minute, there's heat and there's light in there. I'm going in there. All right. And then you have the abundance card, the nine of pentacles. This is feeling really confident as well. Whatever comes in now, it's very possible that you decide to stay single, but this is if you decide to stay single, it was all divinely guided. It really was. For some reason, you were guided to be... Because what I'm seeing here is that there's good luck in this union, whatever it is. Now, I'm feeling like... I don't feel like this means you're single at all. I feel like this is you just feeling confident and abundant. I'm going to get a card on it. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn reading. Why did the Nine of Pentacles come out? Nope, way too many. Way too many. Just one or two, please. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Oh, victory. Whatever it is, it's victorious. Give me another one. Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn reading. Why is it here? Nine of Pentacles. Why is Nine of Pentacles here? There we go. Queen of Wands action. All right, so whatever this is, I feel as though you're taking some kind of an action. It's going to bring in victory, and it's also going to leave you very confident, feeling very secure. I feel like you could have done this on your own, whatever it was, but at the same time, it is about a spiritual union of some sort between you and another person. It's very divinely guided as well. All right, guys, I do feel a lot of fire here in these outcome cards. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, there's Aquarius in this reading. There could be um, Gemini, Libra. There could also be, now I'm just giving you these. You don't have to use them. Lots of Aquarius. Um, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, Leo. So everybody's here, really. The only thing I don't see here is a lot of Earth. I'm not seeing a lot of Earth here. Um, not really, no, not at all. All right, I do see Taurus, though. Taurus is here. So, which is really weird because, you know, you're being an earth sign. You don't have a whole lot of earth here. There's a little bit, a little bit. Um, could be anybody, guys. They could be coming in in different energies. I do see Pisces here. I do see Aquarius here. I do see Leo, Aries, Taurus here strongly. All right, and there is a little bit of water. Like I said, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Anyway, guys, I hope that this resonated with someone. Um, I'm going to grab you a few angel cards. Angels, what should Capricorn focus on for the week of Thanksgiving 2019? Beautiful. Wow, interesting. Sisterhood, brotherhood, stick with your tribe and the people you can trust. I always think that when I see this. Be spontaneous. Spontaneity. Something might just suddenly pop up that you didn't realize. Stay in your integrity. Make sure that you stay in your integrity, guys. All right. Wow. This is interesting. I feel like there is a spiritual connection between you and another person. Whether it's love, whether it's family, whether it's whatever it is. I do feel like there's some kind of spiritual bond here between you and another person. I feel like you've had a hard go of getting things together with them, but there's some kind of information that's going to come through that helps you out with getting past that hurdle and getting on to what you really want. 
the sun and the stars, right? They came out together. Whatever this information is, and it's you have it here many times, information coming in, is going to get you to that place where you're going to feel really, really good about the luck that you had. Getting this, I feel like you're going to have a conversation with someone or information about someone you really care about that's going to make you really happy. All right, guys, um, I hope that that helped you. Please like, share, subscribe, um, and comment down below. Let me know if this was your reading. I'm very curious. Okay, Capricorn, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Have a, oh, have a very happy Thanksgiving. Bye.